So watch here. I mean, we don't see anything uh, here. Now this, on a normal day, people are going to look at this and they're going to come to the conclusion that this is the horizon line. It's a physical separation between where the Earth ends and you know, it curves over. And that's as far as we can see, period. But on this specific day, the sun gets behind and creates a silhouette. So you'll see that coming up here shortly. And the fact of the matter is that these mountains are not floating and levitating in the air. They're just not. They're not a mirage. Uh, doesn't have any of the characteristics of mirage. There's no towering. There's no floating. There's no distortion. There's nothing. That is the mountains of Kanagao. Now, when you hear people say, oh, it's just a, this mountain here, this peak is 9,000 feet, but the rest of the mountain chain is there. So granted, can you see down to 1,000 feet or down to the uh, shore? No, because you're looking over a vast amount of water. And again, reading these things that I read today are just more backup of that, of exactly what's going on here. But here, if you look at, uh, this is not a mirage. You'll see this is not rising. This is not shimmering. This is the mountains of Kanagao. And if you put in the um, curve calculator here, uh, you know, an eye height of a thousand feet at that church in Alash and a target distance of 175 miles, you get a hidden feet of 12,380. The mountain peak of Kanagao is 9,400. So you're talking about 3,000 feet. These mountains should be the very tip right here should be 3,000 feet below the curve. So wh what do you believe in that's floating these to the top? What is what is lifting mountains to the top? It's, it's just not what they say. And so, you know, for me, I'm not going to just take their words. Oh, this is, just, oh, okay, yeah, it's a, it must be an astronomical thing. The sun's lifting. Th the sun doesn't lift mountains up. If these mountains are behind the curve, I wouldn't be able to see them. I cannot see through ocean water, and the sun is not a magic ball that lifts mountains up over water so I can see it. It's just not the way it works. So, um, And this is not a mirage. And that's, and that's what they want to try and call it, because there's no other excuse for why we're seeing things at such distances that we shouldn't. And there's still people who go around and tell me that every observation that we see matches perfectly on a globe. That is an observation, and it doesn't match the globe at all. In fact, it would be impossible on any globe unless you believe in floating land and levitating mountain chains.